Today, we're diving into the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy, unraveling seven practices that can set you on a path to not just survive, but thrive in the roller coaster of life. I'm here to guide you through these Stoic principles, each designed to give you a leg up on the 98% of people navigating the twists and turns of existence. So buckle up and let's explore these practical Stoic gems that could be your game changer. But before we plunge into the heart of Stoicism, do me a solid. If you enjoy soaking in some ancient wisdom, hit that thumbs up button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Now, let's get into it. Number one, embrace the cosmic perspective. Imagine yourself transported back thousands of years, standing atop a majestic mountain under a starry night sky, engaging in deep conversation with a great Stoic philosopher. Amidst the beauty of the cosmos, the philosopher directs your attention to the vast universe, emphasizing the fleeting nature of our lives in the grand tapestry of existence. The cosmic perspective, which is central to Stoic philosophy, is about cultivating the right mindset. While most people get caught up in daily struggles, magnifying failures and becoming shackled by societal expectations, Stoics take a step back. They zoom out, appreciating the grandeur of the universe and gaining mental clarity that is elusive to the majority. Consider a practical example, a colleague getting a promotion you felt you deserved or a comment ruining your day. These incidents can consume your thoughts and emotions, leading to envy or frustration. Applying the cosmic perspective, you ask a fundamental question. In the larger scheme of things, will this matter? More often than not, the answer is no. This practice isn't about belittling genuine struggles, but discerning significance. It empowers you to prioritize what truly matters, giving you an edge over the 98% chasing fleeting validations. In your daily life, start your day with moments of reflection, visualizing the broader canvas of existence. When facing decisions or challenges, pause and immerse yourself in the vastness of the universe. This empowered perspective provides clarity and calm, guiding your actions and decisions. Embracing the cosmic perspective is a stoic practice that distinguishes you from the crowd, allowing you to navigate life with purpose. Number two is benefiting from negative visualization. Imagine yourself in a busy historical marketplace, surrounded by lively crowds and stalls filled with fruits and fabrics. Imagine the constant buzz of chatter in the air. Amidst this lively scene, Notice a wise philosopher capturing the attention of the audience. Rather than advising them to focus only on a life of pleasure and success, he suggests periodically contemplating potential hardships and setbacks. This practice, known as negative visualization, may seem counterintuitive in a world that often emphasizes positive thinking. However, Let's delve into why this approach could give you an advantage over 98% of the population. Many people live in perpetual fear of the unknown and unexpected, often caught off guard by life's challenges because they've never mentally prepared for them. What if you could build mental armor? Instead of being thrown off course by unexpected challenges, imagine yourself as an entrepreneur who occasionally considers potential obstacles, like product failures or economic recessions. Rather than letting these thoughts lead to despair, use them as a catalyst for proactive preparation. Diversify your offerings, invest in research and development, or create a financial safety net. Negative visualization not only strengthens your practical preparedness, but also has a significant impact on your mental and emotional well-being. Cultivating gratitude, often overlooked in our pursuit of more, involves reflecting on the absence of blessings we take for granted. This heightened awareness not only boosts mental well-being, but also propels you to make the most of your current resources, providing a direct edge over those who lack this sense of gratitude. In Seneca's words, 
He suffers more than necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. Negative visualization equips you with mental agility to handle any scenario life throws your way, building resilience instead of manifesting adversity. While others may dread or avoid potential setbacks, you actively prepare and fortify yourself, positioning yourself leaps and bounds ahead in the intricate game of life. Number three, embracing intentional discomfort. Imagine stepping out of your comfort zone and embracing intentional challenges. Picture yourself in a peaceful courtyard shaded by ancient olive trees, feeling a gentle Mediterranean breeze on your face. In this serene setting, a small group surrounds a wise philosopher, dressed plainly, sitting on the rough ground instead of the nearby bench, emphasizing the message that growth thrives at the edges of discomfort. This practice may seem out of place in our modern world, filled with convenient technologies, yet it's precisely why it's a powerful tool, setting you apart from the majority. Let's explore the basic principles of growth applicable to building muscle, acquiring new skills, or fostering mental resilience. Progress often happens when you go beyond your comfort zone. Consider athletes. While many stick to regular training, those who excel embrace challenging regimens. They push their bodies and minds to the limit, training at high altitudes, enduring extreme weather, or practicing when fatigued. These athletes thrive on intentional discomfort. Moreover, embracing intentional discomfort can reset your satisfaction baseline. Practices like periodic fasting let you find deep contentment in a simple meal. Aligning with the wisdom of Seneca, who noted preparing for difficult times in times of security, incorporating stoic exercises into daily life can be transformative. This may involve practical actions like cold showers, periodic fasts, or deliberately placing yourself in challenging situations aligned with your goals. In a society where comfort is often pursued, choosing intentional discomfort not only builds resilience but also distinguishes you. While others shy away from challenges or seek the easy path, you actively seek discomfort, aware that within it lie abundant opportunities for personal growth and distinction. Number four, controlling the dichotomy of control. Imagine being in a peaceful garden surrounded by blooming flowers and the soothing sound of drifting dreams. You're not alone. There's a group of eager listeners drawn to the wisdom of a seasoned elder. This wise sage shares a simple yet impactful idea. There are things we can control and things we can't. Mastering this difference opens the door to freedom and success. The concept is a fundamental principle of Stoicism, a timeless philosophy relevant in today's world. Many people waste energy on things beyond their control, like others' opinions, market changes, global events, or unpredictable weather. This misalignment causes stress, anxiety, and a lack of focus. Applying this stoic wisdom to modern careers, consider Jane, a professional presenting a project to her company's board. While she can't control the board's decision, she owns her preparation and approach. Focused on what she can influence, she remains resolute and undistracted. Unlike most who get entangled in external matters, fretting over things they can't change, Jane's mastery of stoicism gives her a strategic advantage. The essence isn't passive acceptance, but proactive engagement. By discerning what can be changed, you gain the power to act wisely. This clarity positions you ahead in a world filled with uncertainties. Your inner strength and focused action become a guiding light, allowing you to navigate life's challenges with strength and grace. Number five, leads through journaling. Writing in a journal, especially in today's busy world full of distractions and constant noise, may seem ordinary or even insignificant. However, the act of journaling, when done with purpose, has the potential to set you apart from most people. The Stoics, 
known for their wisdom, recognize the profound benefits of regularly reflecting on one's life. Consider this. In our fast-paced, technology-driven lives, many people find themselves caught in the whirlwind of daily routines, living on autopilot. The stoic practice of journaling becomes significant in this context. It provides a calm space amidst the chaos of modern living, allowing for contemplation and introspection. Journaling lets individuals like Alex, a modern Stoic, examine their thoughts and feelings, leading to a transformative journey of self-discovery. By consistently engaging in this practice, patterns emerge, revealing authentic passions and values. Alex's career choices align more closely with his core values, leading to a more fulfilling and purposeful life. For the majority of people who lack introspection, their lives may lack depth and meaning. Journaling, however, empowers individuals to shape their destiny. By understanding oneself at a profound level, you gain the ability to navigate life with precision, becoming the master of your destiny. In a world that often imposes its rhythm upon us, journaling allows you to find your own melody, leading your life with grace and intention. Number six, using obstacles as opportunities. Picture yourself in an old classroom surrounded by wise students and a seasoned teacher. The teacher, a wise philosopher, compares life challenges to a windmill designed to harness strong winds. While these winds could be threatening to weaker structures, the windmill uses their force to power its mechanisms, grinding grain tirelessly. The teacher relates this metaphor to the Stoic philosophy on life obstacles. Instead of viewing challenges as threats, Stoics see them as chances for personal and intellectual growth. For instance, imagine a young entrepreneur entering a competitive market. Rather than seeing established competitors as insurmountable obstacles, she views them as opportunities to refine her product, improve marketing strategies, and understand customer needs. Embracing the challenge, she conducts market research, adapts her approach, and not only survives but thrives in the competition. This stoic perspective, applicable beyond business, teaches that challenges are not roadblocks but catalysts for improvement. By adopting this mindset, one can continuously improve and transform. The students in the classroom grasp this lesson, realizing that adversity can fuel their potential. The once dim classroom now feels brighter, filled with hope that even in adversity, there's an opportunity for growth and triumph. Number seven, inner contentment over external validation. Imagine finding peace within yourself and not relying on others to validate your worth. Picture stepping into a calm classroom where wisdom fills the air and students eagerly gather to learn from a respected teacher. This teacher introduces a simple yet powerful concept. True success and happiness come from within, not from external achievements. In a world where many chase after external validations like sales figures and promotions, this teacher emphasizes that prosperity is not about acclaim from the outside world, but about finding contentment within oneself. This timeless philosophy of Stoicism highlights the importance of inner wealth over external riches. Consider the story of Sarah, a successful professional in a competitive field. While she recognizes the importance of metrics like sales targets, she doesn't tie her self-worth solely to them. Sarah finds fulfillment in creating and expressing her unique vision, seeing success beyond numerical values on a balance sheet. This stoic principle isn't about ignoring external markers of success, but about not letting them define your sense of self. Sarah's inner contentment acts as a shield, protecting her from rejections and criticism. Her self-assurance remains unwavering because her sense of worth is anchored within. In a world obsessed with external validation, Sarah's approach stands out drawing opportunities and forming genuine relationships. In the words of Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, 
True happiness is enjoying the present without anxious dependence. This encapsulates the essence of stoic inner contentment. By finding fulfillment within herself, Sarah gains a competitive edge in a world full of individuals chasing external accolades. Inspired by stoic wisdom, we're reminded that true success lies in mastering our thoughts, emotions, and actions, fostering inner contentment as a compass through life's challenges. If you enjoyed diving into the timeless wisdom of Stoicism with me today, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're not part of our awesome community yet, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future philosophical explorations. Which Stoic practice resonates with you the most? Let's keep the conversation going down in the comments. I'm curious to hear your thoughts and experiences. Thanks a bunch for joining me on this enlightening journey through the Stoic way. Until our next philosophical adventure, remember to always tread the less traveled path, the Stoic way. Catch you in the next one.